What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome to a no loss glitch and chemistry loyalty bonus video. Um, the last few years, there's been a, at least the last few years uh, of my knowledge anyway, there's been a, a glitch in FIFA for offline games. Uh, it actually was for online in FIFA 15 for a brief period too, but it's been in offline um, at least since FIFA 15, maybe since earlier than that. And uh, there's the, basically the, this glitch is very simple, it's very effective, it has some pros, it has some cons, but um, anyone can do it and it doesn't affect anyone other than you. Like it, it, it doesn't ruin the game for other people, it's not one of those glitches that affects online, um, it doesn't help people boost coins. Um, but what it is, is a really effective way to um, basically never guarantee never losing to the AI. And secondly, uh, which is why this is kind of a dual video, it's also a really good way to get the loyalty bonus. Now, the reason why the loyalty bonus is important is because for some of the squad builder challenges, when I did a squad builder challenge video the other day and I showed you guys specific teams that I had, people are tweeting me saying I've built the exact same team and I don't have the I don't have the same chemistry as you. Why not? Well, the reason would be is because you don't have loyalty on the players. You see how it says the team chemistry on this specific team has to be a minimum of 95. And if I have 95, but then you go and buy the players, you need to either, to get loyalty, the player has to either be pack pulled. Um, obviously, you have to open packs for that. Or you have to play 10 games with the player for them to get loyalty. So with this team that I built here, it's already 100 chem. 10 of these 11 players have loyalty. I went and bought Gabby from the market. You can see he doesn't have loyalty. So if, if, I need, if I've got a squad building challenge where I need Gabby in my squad building challenge, but I need him to have loyalty, what's the quickest way to get him on 10 games without actually playing 10 games and without actually spending too much time? Because no one wants to sit here and play 10 games with a, either a team that they don't like or offline in the early access specifically. When the full game comes out, it'll be a little bit uh, less important to do this, but there's a very effective way, guys, to uh, take and use this um, this 10 games. I definitely don't want to be uh, throwing games on some of these players, though. Let's put Musashio in there, and uh, let's put Laporte. Laporte's car looks really good um, in there as well. So how do, you, how do you do the no-loss glitch, and how do you uh, get the games? the 10 games well they're pretty much one in the same and here's how all you got to do guys is go ahead and go into single player go into team of the week you want to do the team of the week challenge it doesn't matter what level you do it on it, it literally makes no difference beginner expert it doesn't make a difference you go ahead and go into the game now there are some pros and some cons to this this method the pros are obviously you don't lose the con or rather you don't get a loss on your record um you also uh gain a game on your player but the cons are it wastes a contract on your player um also i'm unsure as to whether or not it takes your coin boost one like one of your coin boost games without actually giving you the coins because you don't earn any coins from this so this is how it works right guys the game will kick off and you could do this as soon as the game's kicked off you could do it the game will kick off all you want to do is press your xbox home button i believe it's the same for ps you just press the ps button boom you press it the game will automatically pause you'll come to this screen you press the start button here uh next to the x boom start you drop down to quit bang now with the early access to reload fifa you have to go into the ea access hub and reload it through here because it, otherwise it says it gives you that error where it's like your trial has expired yada 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 even though you know your trial hasn't expired right because you were just playing the game so go back through early access don't go back through the main game um and then even if you do still get the glitch or the error that says your early access has expired, thank you for playing FIFA, yada, yada, yada. Just reset your console. Uh, takes two seconds. But this method, it takes, take, like you saw it, it takes like one minute, right? One minute. And now you don't have to connect to the EA servers every time through EA access. So it'd be quicker. Like the next time you come in, you'll just come straight in. You'll press play on FIFA 17 and it will throw you straight back in there. Uh, because I've only just turned my console on, I have to log into EA access first. You click play on FIFA 17. And it's going to load up FIFA again. It's going to say Thievish Train 49 because great generic names. You have less than three hours left. My time is running out. And on my Rose Glory account, I've got less than an hour left. It's sad times. 
FIFA will load back up. What has happened here? Well, number one, I don't know if you actually took consideration of the record up in the top left. I'll do it again just to show you and just to prove to you that um, I'm 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 not lying. I'm not you know I'm not wrong. Uh, I don't actually. I think I have one loss on my record anyway, which was from the online draft final. So now we'll go back in, and I'll still only have one loss. As I say, there are some cons to this, there are some pros to this, and we'll go through them in a bit more detail and explain to you exactly where this is important in detail. But for you squad building challenges guys that are tweeting me, I built the same team as you, but I don't have the same chemistry what gives, it's because I packed those players that I put in those squad building challenges, whereas you guys would have probably bought them from the market, which means you need to get the chemistry. So if you have early access, or for some of you that have full copies of the games, I'm very jealous of those of you that have full copy of the game, I really wish I did, but for some of you that have full copies of the games or have early access, you can quite easily just go and do that. What I just did there 10 times with that team, that whoever you need to get um, whoever you need to get the loyalty bonus for, you go go ahead, do it 10 times, and then boom, you'll be fine. So as you can see, my record is still 13, 1 and 1. But you're like, well, that doesn't make sense. If you did, you know, if it didn't count as a game, what like what's the point? Well, interestingly, for your actual team, it does count as a game. So Gabby now has one of 10 games and it took me just a couple of minutes. So what what's the big deal with this? What's the con? Well, the con is it, it burns a contract for everyone. He started off with uh, seven contracts when we bought him. Everyone now has six contracts. So you're going to need to make sure you've got contracts, right? And the best way to do that is just by buying them on the market. You can get the gold shinies for 200 coins. But like I said, I'm unsure as to whether or not it uses a coin unlock boost from the catalogue without actually giving you the coins. I tested it extensively on my Road to Glory account for getting the chemistry and I'm not sure because I bought all the coin unlocks at once, they're all stacked up, I'm not sure if it's used them or not because if it does count as a coin unlock boost, it doesn't give you the coins for it. So make sure when you do this, you don't have any coin unlocks on your account or at the very least, you don't care if you don't gain those coins because the loyalty is more important to you, right? So. Um, where is this effective and how is this effective? Well, it's effective in the single player season because if you go and he go ahead and get yourself a difficult league, now the early leagues in offline are really easy anyway, semi-pro, semi amateur and professional. Some of them uh, are going to be quite difficult, but if you're losing to the AI, at any point in the game, you can dashboard, quit, go back in, and it's as if that game never counted. It gives you the, the, the game on your players, it loses the contract, but your record will remain the same, and you'll go back into wherever the hell you were in the exact same space. In the same vein, that in the single player tournament, and I'll actually go onto my Road to Glory account to prove this, you will remain in the same round from where you quit. In fact, let me go into my Road to Glory account and we'll sh I'll show you guys. Okay guys, so here we are on my Road to Glory account. You can see my record is 12, 2 and 0. That's very important to note. And my coins are 97,300. And 10, spoiler alert, if you haven't watched the Road to Glory second channel link down below. Awesome, awesome start to the series for sure. In my single player uh, kind of effort so far, you can see I'm in the starter cup and I am up to the semi-final, which is very nice indeed. Now, let's assume I go into the semi-final. I want that gold gift pack. I want the coins. This is a team that I've actually built for the... Um, for the uh, what have I built this for? I built this for... Uh, a, a squad builder challenge and I went and played 10 games of all of these players you can see now I've got 15 with them and I had the wrong CDM in the whole time so now I'm working on getting Gareth Barry to 10 games that will then t send this to 89 chemistry which will be complete for my squad building challenge which will be absolutely awesome in the meantime obviously I want to take this here team and I want to go ahead and we're going to play the game so let's go and get some bronze players for the bench so that we can actually start the game and uh, what we'll do is we'll go in and let, you know, this is on the easiest difficulty, but let's assume this is on world class and, you know, you're going into a really tough game. So you start the game, you're in a semi-final of the offline cup and you think, my God, I, I, can't, I can't lose here. I, you know, I want the reward. And, and this, this is it for, for, you know, for the start a cup for a gold pack, it doesn't make any difference. But for when the good offline tournaments come out that have the kits or the packs or the players or whatever else EA have got up their sleeve for this year and, and it's on like professional or world-class difficulty, you're sitting there thinking to yourself, I, I, can't, I can't do this, I'm not good enough, or let me try, but 
I don't want to lose and I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have a loss on my record to the AI. Well, you're losing. You you know, you're, you're playing against whoever the hell we're playing against here. You're 3-0 down at half time. You're like, I can't get back into this game. Let me have a do-over. Well, what you can do is you can do the same thing. You can dashboard, you can quit, you go back into EA Access Hub, boom, you hit play. I already logged into EA Access before I have started re-recording just for the, the sake of ease. And it will say again, boom, animal power. You have less than 75 minutes left. And it's been less than 75 minutes for a good, like, it, like it, it's close to less than an hour left. We, I've got like one or two minutes left of it's less than 75 minutes before it's now less than 60, which is very, very sad because uh, I probably won't be able to get a full copy of the game till Thursday. Maybe I could switch over to the US region and get it on like Monday night. But if that doesn't work, I'm pretty screwed. But um, that's what you do. So, you know, bear in mind, our record had zero losses. We were in the semi-final of the cup and we just dashboard and quit in the semi-final of the cup because we were losing. Let's see what, it, what happens when we're going back in. Now, something to note is that this does not work online. It categorically does not work online. It used to work online in FIFA 15 for like a three, four week period. EA patched that for whatever reason, they either have chosen not to patch it offline or they don't know how to patch it offline because it has been in the game for many years. So some people will be like, oh, I've been using this for, for years and now you've just ruined it, EA gonna patch it. I've made this video at the start of FIFA for three consecutive years now and uh, they've they've never patched it. So like I say, the con is I might have just lost a coin unlock there, and I'm not I'm not entirely sure if I did or didn't. My record is still 12, 2, and 0. My single player, I'm still in the semi-final of the cup. Didn't didn't reset my cup progress. Still in the semi-final there, so now I can do that game again and give it another try. And more importantly, for those of you for the squad builder challenge, looking to get your chemistry, looking to get that you know that 10 game boost to get the loyalty. Gareth Barry is no longer on five games. He's now on six games, and it took me like a minute to do. So you do that 10 times, you'll get 10, 10 games on your players. They'll get 10 chem. Sorry, they'll get the bonus chem. They'll get the loyalty chem, and that will really help you. Now, there is one area where this doesn't work as effectively offline as it does elsewhere, and that is in the draft. So in the draft, if you are in the semi-final or the second round and you do this glitch, it will halt your progress. So you won't get a loss on your record, but when you go back into the draft, that's where it will end for you. You will claim the prize for that round. So if you go in and you do it on the third round because you're losing to the AI, you will still get the loss in the draft, you won't get the loss on your record. So if you care about your record that much, which some people do, um, then th that's a, a good way to basically avoid a loss. Not always the most effective way. So uh, hopefully uh, hopefully I've explained that uh, well enough. Let me log back onto my main account real quick. So guys, back onto my main account again, and you can see, uh, you know, well, you can't see, but um, just, uh, just to recap, so very simple method. You get no losses, it only works offline. It, it does work in the draft, but it, it does halt your progress. But more importantly, for those of you that are struggling with the squad building challenges, you know, specifically for these advanced ones where you need the extra chemistry, it's a very, very quick way to get you the chemistry that you need specifically because you could do like a lot of them without needing loyalty bonuses, but specifically for the hardened ultimate challenges in League and Nation Hybrid, it's very important to get that uh, bonus chemistry points. I think you actually need the, the chemistry to do that. And um, that's that's where we're at with this. Now, before we get out of here, I've gone and used the gold upgrade um, uh, squad builder challenge to get myself four two player packs. Absolutely love these two player packs. They are untradeable, but they yield some pretty good players for people every now and then. So I'm going to give them a, a little open. And we start off getting ourselves John Terry. These, I'm telling you what, these two player packs, they're untradeable, guys, right? But I've traded in a whole bunch of crappy little players... Uh, that I'm never going to use and nobody wants to buy for a John Terry where I can now go and sell the one I already had and a Wendell. I, I think I already actually had Wendell, yeah. So I already, I already packed him in the two-player uh, trades. But you guys have been sending me your two-player trade packs 
uh, on Twitter and people have been getting mad players like squad building challenges really seem to be super effective and we get ourselves Draxler so another really really nice player out of that two player pack there as well Draxler and Tevez that is amazing I don't have either of those players in the club so welcome to those boys we get another two rare players pack now you can get informs in these for sure I'm not sure about legends we get ourselves a right back from the Turkish league it's going to be Gonul he actually has a pretty decent card I believe I already have him in the club would be very surprised if I don't. I actually don't. Wow. And Troy Deeney, who I actually think I already have as an untradeable item as well. Uh, oh no, we can send him to the trade pile. So we made ourselves a few hundred coins back there. Very nice indeed. And then last but not least, come on, give me a big player. Come on, let's have someone massive out of this. We get CDM from Inter. It's going to be Felipe Melo, a 79 rated, but we've got an 84 and a couple of 83s, and those guys can go into the club and we'll reuse those in other squad builder challenges in the future. But guys, that is the easiest method for you to get your loyalty chem. That is also the easiest method for you to never have to worry about losing offline in your entire FIFA 17 career. This is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.